We can sort of make that easy for pedestrians to come across to this lovely shopping area that everybody loves so much. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> people aren't, you know, they don't mind a cemetery with their house backed up against it. So I'm going to share with you a fantastic tip I've only just recently learned using some of the mods that we have for City Skylines to help us to build our housing estates even quicker than we used to before. So here we are in Blighty on the Wold and you can see we've got lots of different housing estates that we've been building up all over the place. And we're going to take this piece of land here. It's been sold off to a developer and they wish to fill it with bungalows, which in the UK here quite often will have bungalow housing estates spring up uh, mainly designed for elderly residents uh, a lot easier to live in not always necessarily exclusively uh, for elderly residents but that is the sort of storyline that we're going for this time now the idea uh, for the use of the find it mod to help us in this came from a video by infrastructurist who's another youtuber and i will put a link to their video below but i'll show you what their tip was if you enjoyed it please go over to their video as well uh, leave a like and subscribe to their channel. So let's just take a look at this piece of land that we've got here. And the first thing that we want to do is remove this field that we've got around here. So we're going to use uh, the forest tree brush mod here just to get rid... <laughs> Thank you, Jumpy Game. That was very handy. Uh, just to get rid of some of these trees along there. We're going to leave these ones along here no do you know what i am going to remove all the trees because we have our own uk tree brush mod so let me just do that there we go oh there's a few more up here there we go excellent so now this land is all ready for building on as you can see i'm using the forest brush mod and i've got a few different trees selected that give us that sort of British look, which is good. Um, so now we want to remove this farmland that's down here. And that is actually, uh, with the luck that we've got, if I remember correctly, that is fertile land that's given us this. Let's just take a look. Maybe it's the oil. Maybe it's the ore. It's one of these. <laughs> there we go. It's this one here. It is the ore. So we can just remove uh, all of that as well and get ourselves ready for building. I think that is all the resources that we've got on here. Got some forestry left over from where the trees were here before. So, yep, yeah, that's good. Excellent. So, let's have a look where we're going to have some access here. So, we've got this slightly faster road that comes around here. We don't want to hook into that. Um, we've got this row with the bus lanes that comes up here. I think this is going to be very handy to hook into. Um, I'd like to just level this out a little bit. We're going to go from... Uh, yeah, let's go from there all the way down to here. Just level that out a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. And then we can have an entrance in here. And we've also got this road that's cutting through another four-lane road, uh, which is bringing cars all the way down there. We could have a couple of entrances off there. So let's have a look at the tip uh, using the Find It mod and how this is really going to help. I'm just going to put some random roads down here. So first of all, you want to choose what it is you're going to be building with. So here are all the assets I've got in the game. Uh, I'm going to click this one down here that says Growable Rico. And I want that selected to low density only. Here we go. Um, so I'm looking for a certain style of house um, that I want to just place a load of them down. So we've got this one. This is a pack here. We've got the British Seaside House. Maybe not so fitting for this area. And uh, we've got these college ones that come from the University uh, city content creator pack so you might be scrolling through and you think do you know what i'm going to build something just for this example this is not what we're going to end up building with as we said it's going to be the bungalows but i want to build with these eu houses and there's a load of them here so there's a couple of ways you can do this you can filter out of all of these assets by for instance putting in eu so that's going to filter all of our houses to be just this eu one now what you would normally do if you're building an estate like this you might say okay i want that one house there i want then a different one next to it and then i want a different one next to it and you got to keep coming down clicking the screen going back up again takes a long time to go through all of those but what you can do instead is use the random key so here we've got random selection now every time you pick that it's going to randomly select something from our filter that we have at the moment which is anything named eu so we're going to place that randomly select something else randomly select something else and that is going to run through all of those what can also help with that if we jump into the settings of the find it mod 
Uh, let's just go up here, find it beta, scroll down to the bottom. We have the keys and we can change our random selection button to have a key. Now, just be aware that normally the R key is set to the camera view, tilting and uh, moving your camera. So I've deleted that from the standard key mapping over here and that frees it up for me for the find it mod so i've put r of course you can use anything so now if we go back to the game open that tab up again let's go over here and as i tap r it's randomly selecting a different house so now you can see i can click r place a house and away we go and that is the basics of the tip but you want to be able to fine tune that a little bit more because as you can see we're getting maybe different styles of houses together not exactly what we want so let me just use the move it mod again select any buildings delete those so how can we filter this a little bit more to make it more useful well let's remove eu from this list and let's click this button here so show extra filters panel now depending on what you wanted to use it may be that you know you only want to be using buildings from one person because they've just made this one pack uh, let's scroll through here to find a person there we go so it might be in this case a vanya uh, who else have we got down here that might have a load of houses that we could use? There we go, another example, Gerenable. You might want to do the same thing with this and do the random house placing next to each other. There we go, like that. Get your estates built quickly. You might then instead say, well, actually, I want to use all the houses from a certain content creator pack. So the European Suburbia pack. Or let's have a look, what else have we got down here that might be helpful for this example? modern city center pack no that's going to have yeah you know different types of buildings these are mainly offices but you get the idea you want to filter it in a certain way but what you can also use is the filter option or the tag as they call it here um in the city sky in the uh, find it mod if i get my teeth in straight i'm gonna have another sip of tea while i think about it and my brain's in gear i'll be able to explain it better and also don't forget to check out bifferplaysmerch.com for your autosave sip of tea merchandise. So with the filter panel, going back to our option for EU, thank you very much, uh, you notice we've got different styles that come up when we search for EU. So it might be we only want these ones down here. Well, if you just click on, you can see in the top right of each of these assets, there's that little uh, tag option. If we click on that, we can add a tag. Now, I've already made a tag called EU. If you've got other tags, it would appear in this pop-up list. Um, and you just click plus. And when you do that, close that window, slightly changes the color of the tag. You can see it's highlighted, not highlighted. So we can go along here, add these in, close that window. A little bit of a laborious process, but once it's done, it's done. So let's just say it was those ones there. So now what we can do is pick our tag from here. Click refresh, it will show up. Tick that box there. And now anything with that tag now shows up here. So again, we can do the random thing. We can go along and we'll get whichever houses we want. So again, we've got some different size ones. I might want to remove some of those from the tag and fine tune. So there's different ways that we can sort these. Again, if we're using the tag, what you can also do is say, well, actually, I only want buildings that are one by one or one by two or two by three or whatever size you want. So you can really narrow that down and then you can randomly pick from it. So what are we going to be using for this area? Well, we are going to be using these bungalows. So I've selected Global Rico, where you can click down there. We've got all these bungalows in our list. And there's all sorts of different designs that I wish to put into this build here. Lovely, lovely builds. These are all made by Rick4000. Fantastic detailed assets. Um, but the problem is, is a lot of these are different uh, levels. So for instance, that is an L5 or a level 5. And you know how it works. If I place that down... Uh, in the area that we're building here but the surrounding land isn't really level five worthy this one will complain so what we can do to solve that is show the extra filters panel and we can use this one here select building level from the list i only want bungalows so we've got bungalow in the search box minimum level one maximum level three that is easy to deal with once we build up level three is pretty much okay we can see the list is now shorter see without it we've got a few extras with it we've just got these ones here but i can now go through use the random button there we go 
and we get all of our different bungalows level one to three and we can very quickly fill up an area like this but of course first of all we want to make sure that we have our road network laid out so let's just plan for that and some services bus routes all that sort of thing before we place all of our bungalows and we do have here a nice high demand for a residential zone perfect so first of all we're going to take this four lane road here that's got some parking available to it and i'd like a sort of i'm going to call it a main road that comes through here and then comes out here somewhere because we're right by the shops uh, and everything and we can sort of make that easy for pedestrians to come across to so this lovely shopping area that everybody loves so much <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we'll be building that at some point i'm sure uh let's just lower that down a little bit there there we go excellent and then this is going to meander one of my favorite words sort of around here like so there we go excellent and then we can have some closes coming off of there i'm just wondering whether we don't want to connect to here we don't want to connect to here but the houses are going to end up coming quite a long way back here so we're going to have lots of little closes and things popping out here so i'm just wondering could we have a connection underneath the highway here like we've got this one down the side here which was really helpful and it, we even added a little connection on and off the highway could we make a connection down here oh recognize excellent thank you very much actually change of minds we're going to keep this as a separate section but we've stopped it becoming a complete cul-de-sac by having these two connections at either end so that's going to work okay we're going to make things a little bit easier with some dedicated turning lanes for these two sections and that is definitely going to be a giveaway it may end up becoming a small roundabout <laughs> people driving down there already even though there's nowhere to go we'll do the same here Although buses, yeah, want to carry on, so that's fine. And we'll do a little giveaway there. And I'm also going to make that a little bit bigger. There we go, that's more like it. 1920, just to keep that thing moving. And we'll do the same. 1920. Yeah, okay, that'll be good. Excellent. And then off of here, we are going to use our suburban street. So we've got this suburb one here, although that's one way. Yeah, we'll go with this one. I think this will be okay. Let's just connect that onto there and have a look what that looks like. We'll just go straight out. Yeah, that'll be fine. That matches up with this, and that'll be good. So now we need to just design a street layout for on here, which is really going to use oh the most of the space as we possibly can so maybe let's start here and sort of work around the outside and see what we can come up with right let's just take a look at what we've got here so we've definitely got the whole estate uh, we've got an access and egress on two different roads so it's not a great big cul-de-sac uh, some of these little closes like we'll take this one here this section here is going to have a lot of houses on it will end up being a cul-de-sac um, we could maybe adjust that ever so slightly by doing something like this and in the uk unfortunately that is the way yeah we're going to bring this one in here like that that is the way a lot of these places work that they're just big cul-de-sacs like this we have them all over the place in the uk um but overall the access whoop jumpy game overall the access is okay and i've gone for a lot of bendy roads to try and keep the place looking interesting this i've squared it off a bit more this is going to be a sort of a little shopping complex 
um, we'll come back to that with access for others as well. So I've got a little bit of a job on my hand now to cover this in water. And of course, we're going to be putting it under the roads uh, where it belongs, apparently, according to City Planner Plays. One sec, let me just do this. And there we go. Excellent. And we've got plenty of water available, so everybody is happy. Very good. Right, so we want to plan for some services um, around in this area. So if we just want to take an overview uh, of what we've got. So healthcare, I mean, there's no healthcare within this area here. So we are definitely going to be utilizing some of this sort of spot up here, uh, which we put aside to help us with our healthcare. What's this one here? Not decorated. This is the UK medical practice. So I'm going to just put that set back into there. And um, we're also going to have the death care. Mm, shall we go for a cemetery in here? I know people aren't, you know, they don't mind a cemetery with their house backed up against it. Maybe we could pick a little area that's going to be a sort of a cemetery park sort of thing. We'll go for that. <laughs> Not going to pop in a cathedral. Um, then we have a child health care centre. Yeah, we want these. So even though it's going to be bungalows, you mentioned more for elderly people, we are definitely going to be popping these in. So we we put one in the middle here. That's going to take care of all of that. And then we've got the elder care centre as well. So if you don't know, if you've got these in your game, which you will have, they came with the base game, uh, these will help to uh, balance out uh, death waves in the city so as long as you don't spam build residential all day long without unpausing your game um, having these two in change the birth rate and change the average lifespan which as we said balances out um, the uh, yeah death waves that used to be a big thing we're going to pop that there and we can do a little bit of building behind that uh, what have we got? we've got some healthy buildings here community pool why don't we add that? We're going to have schools and things in here. So I'm just sort of taking an overlook as to where would be a good spot for schools. I like the way this is all nice and straight and laid out square. So I'm going to pop that in there. And we're also going to have a sports hall and gymnasium. Excellent. So fire services. Uh, we do have a UK fire station, which I quite like the look of. If I turn anarchy off, is that going to fit in there? No. So we'll give that its own little section. Very good. Uh, police station. Again, local police station. Yeah, that will nicely squeeze around the back there. Excellent. So then our schools, uh, we're definitely going to need some elementary schools in here. So let's just come back over to this spot um, and see what isn't too big and maybe one that we haven't used before. Oh, this looks like a nice one. One of these Canadian schools that we've got here. Let's just pop that in there and take a look at that. That actually fits in there really well. Yeah, I'm liking the look of that. So we have it off of this road here, not off of... I mean, that's not a main road there, is it? But a little bit safer. The Kiddy Winkies coming in this way. Uh, high school, we're going to try and get something that's going to fit in this gap as well. Oh, that one there. Let's have a look at those two. Oh, yeah, they go together well, don't they? I'm liking that, I'm liking that, high school, elementary school, so that hopefully will take care of the needs in here, I'm thinking possibly we might need a little bit more uh, as time goes along, uh, we've got our libraries, what, small public library, branch, so actually a couple of these, so these if you don't know, if we look at the little pop up on there, um, it says, gives a small bonus to education within building radius, so I'm assuming to capacity 100. I'm assuming these do the same. They're under the same tab. So I'm going to squeeze that one in there. And just sort of dart a couple of these around. We'll pop one up in this little community centre that we're building over here. Let's have that go up against the side. So that's there and there. And yeah, I oh, actually, I'll tell you what. No, nah, that'll be enough. That'll be enough. That'll be fine. Okay, excellent. So that is mainly our services. We're going to need transport around here. So that is, if I turn this back on again, we do have bus lines that come up and down here. I'm just wondering whether with this one, let's just pause this for a moment. So we've got this bus line. We've got this. What is that one there? That's a bus line. So I want this one here to come through here on this main road instead if i put it like that so instead of going straight down here it's gone up and around which i know is bypassing this bus lane and this roundabout but now suddenly we've opened up this whole area 
uh, for bus lines for people. So let us add some in every every few blocks along here. It's not yeah, there's one there. It's not going to be too busy, so I'm not overly concerned about having them that close together. And then this one here, I'm going to drag that. Let's see in there like that. So it goes in, drops off, comes back out again. I'm going to have another stop there. Then it heads off back into our little hub over here, which we've got. Yeah, excellent. That should be okay. I might look to have one going in the other direction. I've also got this shopping one that comes down here. Oh, is that going to be too much if we bring that in to come back around this way? Yeah, the bus is going to cross over a little bit, but I'm going to add a stop in there. And we'll just leave it like that and see whether that helps. Okay, excellent. So that is our infrastructure for now. I'm going to do a quick save and then we're going to get stuck in with placing our bungalows with this new little trick that we've got and see how it works out. Okay, so just before we start that, I've put a district over here. It's come up with the name Feltham. What name do you think this should be called? It's for our senior citizens, tea related. You let me know in the comments below. I'm sure you'll be able to come up with something fun. Okay, so I'm going to start along here, uh, placing these down and hopefully remembering to press the random key between every single one i bet there's like some other pc program we could use that would do that for you but actually once you get going it's it's really quick isn't it look oh this is great so i'm gonna work my way through this estate and i'll be back with you once i've placed all these down yeah so a couple of places have not quite made the roads wide enough which is okay because i can come back through and i can play with that a little bit Whoa, this has taken a lot of time, but this is looking fantastic. We're not even... I'd say we've done about a third. So over here, we're going to have more shops, but definitely more around here. And they're looking good. The way they're lining it all up uh, are just looking fantastic with all the fences and all the details. Uh, there's a few sort of little gaps that I'm going to have to manually go through and maybe move some things around a bit. But overall... I'm really liking it. And of course, we can add some trees and things in as well and some walking paths and all that sort of good stuff. But, oh, we're getting there. We are getting there. Let me continue. Oh, there we go. All of them placed in. I wouldn't say that is the final place for all of them. But overall, without any trees, additional paths or parks or anything like that, that is looking very much like a housing estate in the UK from the above. That is absolutely brilliant. Um, we are going to go around and, for instance, places like this, we're going to sort of add in little paths. There we go, like that, so people can get across. And there's lots of little spots where we could do that, like here. We could sort of come up here, bend that around the corner, so that's suddenly a bit of access through there. We can come up the top. And even we could just run these, like, all the way along the back. But things like that, really to give more access. Um, I'm just wondering whether there's any spot. I mean, this is going to probably take a lot of time for me to go through with the Move It mod and to make the space to do that sort of thing in a load of places. But I might just chuck a couple down that stand out to me. And then I'll come back and add a few more a bit later on. This is going to be a shopping centre here. So we're definitely going to add a path on either side from these places because they're going to want to get along to the shops and then in here you have no power i tell you why because we haven't unpaused this since i built this this is still zero population in here so i want you to have a guess what you think the population is going to be in there and then we'll yeah we'll find out momentarily right i want to look into here i want to go into growable and i want to have just some small here we go shops like this and if we put uk and we'll set this to all and all and just see what we could place in here that will sort of fit in okay i don't want anything too weird and wacky a bush a bush <laughs> it's not a bush it's the holly bush a local pub well we are definitely going to have that 
here because yeah people are gonna want to come and have some dinner and a pint and that sort of thing and we've got the red lion which is another one could we add that somewhere else i think we could squeeze that in along the main road here would that fit in okay well, a little bit of jiggery pokery that could fit right next to where they live there and then we just do need a few shops over here so do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna zone this like this and the overall theme that we do have in these areas is the british uk style that's okay not all buildings are loaded no problem so we'll at least get some british you know tight buildings in there we'll see what they look like i'm going to just fill in a couple of other these little gaps around there yeah we'll just see what we get in there and then if we need any more we've always got along the main roads here we can do that right I think everything is in place. I want to unpause this. I want to see what traffic mayhem we're going to cause with everybody moving in. And then we're going to pretty it up with some trees as well. In fact, I'm just wondering whether we should do that first. So we've got along the highway here. Let's just drop that down. And just, I want a bit of a gap in between because we've got the electric cables. I'm just going to fill in. We could have put some more houses there, but we're going to leave that like it is. And really fill in some of this with trees. I said over here we're going to have shops, didn't I? Well, we'll come back for that. <laughs> Let's just plonkify some, some of these down. And just see the difference that makes from this side over here. So this side over here yes trees do seem to solve a lot of problems don't they i'm just wondering whether um i can make this brush super super big and do all of this in like one go like this definitely haven't got anarchy on so that's okay uh some of these in there are going to end up disappearing because we're going to have shops oh look at that look at that suddenly this looks like a really cool place to live let's just remove some of these from on the outside so we get all our shops coming in we're just going to put a little sway through there a little bit there just either side of that road do you know what i'm thinking that is looking fantastic right let's unpause put it on at speed three and i'm wondering how soon this will suddenly up oh 214 make sure electricity is getting everywhere and i'm wondering there we go houses upgrading listen to that what is quality of the land here so not too shabby around a couple of places this is a little bit low we may drop in and add some parks but i'll be honest on an estate this sort of size you wouldn't necessarily see that many parks you'd have a bit of green space and things we definitely need some more paths down here don't we we will we will get to that oh but man look listen to all the upgrading look at it look at it fantastic that is what we want to see so having that between level one and three has been fine because i bet a lot of these houses like this one here just upgraded to a four. Oh, okay i was going to say it was probably a one upgrading to a two or something but it seems to be even the level threes are upgrading to a level four so that tells me we've done a good job what are we up to what are we up to 2004 oh, flipping heck that is fantastic Oh, are we getting a lot of traffic down here? We hear, we, we do, uh, <laughs> we do have here, was the word I was going to use. Uh, we need to just set this up as to say, you keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop there. So a lot of people coming down here, coming off this roundabout and then heading into here. So as expected, traffic is going to drop. What have we got coming this direction? This direction isn't too shabby uh here we go here's all the people coming in which is fine we don't mind we're quite happy to have them all move in uh, we have some shops that have appeared up here we'll sort of see how that finishes off we mu <laughs> pub 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 pubs everywhere pubs as far as the eye can see well okay we'll see how it goes so i'm gonna let this run for a few moments and then we'll see what felton gets up to 3063 that is absolutely nuts i am loving it okay been a few minutes and we're getting a little bit of traffic uh, up over in this direction over here so i wanted just to maybe do something here so this is a very busy road if we go to this one 
Uh, this isn't as busy at all, so the giveaway sign here working absolutely perfectly. Down here, we're going to need something else. Now, what could we do? Um, we could just plop a traffic light in there. I am wondering whether we could try and do a little teeny tiny roundabout. Because again, Blighty on the Wold UK, that is more likely what you would see. Um, I do have, I've just downloaded, oh, actually we don't need that one, we'll use this one here. Roundabouts, and we'll go into here. Some little roundabout roads, look at these. These are really teeny and tiny, I like those. So if we just add in, let's have a look at that. Let's just pause a second. So this is only a three-way junction. In um, a recent video <laughs> you might have seen, we sort of took away any three-way junctions and took away the roundabouts. But I'm wondering whether we could connect in there. But let's just have a look. I want to do a couple of changes here. So we've got bus lanes all the way down here, which is going to... Oh, no, it won't confuse the buses. They can change lane there. They could change lane there. Yeah, we'll leave it as it is. We control shift left click. 20 mile an hour. What the flipping heck is that? That is very slow. Let's change that to 30 at least. 30, 30. 30 speed limits miles per hour yeah excellent um and then all the giveaways and everything are done and any other thing is make this a little bit bigger just so we can get in and out we'll do the same there we'll make that one 16 seems too much make that 14 make that 14 and then ideally we don't want any crossing on here so i'm hoping that with these rows that's gonna stick yeah okay uh ignore the land here i'm just gonna keep an eye on this and i want to see that this up here is going to go down and that all these vehicles are going to keep moving so let's just keep an eye on that and see what happens yeah the roundabout wasn't really working so i've put the road back in but i'd made a little mistake this road that i've used through the middle here which i thought was a four lane road just by looking at the picture it, it just i misunderstood what it was um it's is it a cycle road as well i think it's just got parking down the side that confused me what i really wanted to do was use this one the actual no parking four lane road so i've added that onto the end and i put a traffic light in there um, but I've also added another exit in and out. So whereas this road round here, actually, that should be all upgraded to this four lane road all the way along. But then what I did is I added in another one here. So let's just do that. And I just sort of made this little branch. that sort of an extra little mini collector. Yeah, that will do that. So for now, I'm going to put a traffic light here. As we expand and put more shops and things around this area, the traffic will change. So we may come back to this and actually delete this connection here. Because this is a real busy road down here. And... I don't really want to put a roundabout in there, but we just want to keep things moving. If we just keep an eye on this little section, yeah. I mean, that's not too shabby, is it? And how many people have we ended up with in here? Let's jump into there. 4,392 and still going up, which is great. Land value, not too shabby. I'm thinking we do really need some sort of park down here where could we just sort of take a corner i'm just thinking these three here so this has become a sort of a little main road doesn't it if we just jump into here and even a small little dog park just sort of on the corner there and then a few little extra trees yep there we go that's fine on the corner there that should ever so slightly increase the land value yeah there we go not too bad and then we've got it's low around the, ed the edges, which we expect with all the roads. Oh, there we go. Look, this is cleaned up. That's cleared up nicely. So now that this bit's cleared up, this bit's going okay. And I think, just thinking, do we want... Yeah, the dedicated lane's working okay. Even though this is super busy, I don't really need two lanes going straight on. Yeah, I think that'll all be all right. Oh, brilliant. That is looking really, really good. And I love the way that looks overhead as well really got the british theme going on some of these council estates where we do have lots of terraces like this but we also have lots of estates like that as well so that easily could expand over here but maybe with another style of house as well to back onto this estate that we've got here 
brilliant. Oh, look at that. Everybody loves living here, which is absolutely brilliant. What do you think about this British style estate that we've got going on here? I just think it looks great. Hot and happening place to be. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and check out the video I mentioned where we got the inspiration for this style of building from using the Find It mod. Uh, that will be linked in the description below. And watch the next video on the screen talking all about plazas and promenades which we're all looking forward to coming very very soon have a great day take care everybody bye bye